to Oak Street Park. It is the first game of our four game set between the visiting Frisco Rough Riders and your San Antonio Missions. Well, our eight game homestand begins with the Frisco Rough Riders and the Midland Rockhounds taking on the San Antonio Missions. After this eight game homestand, the Missions hit the road for their eight away game set with the Frisco Rough Riders and the Rockhounds. The Missions will come back home to play the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the Springfield Cardinals for a six game homestand. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also, follow the Missions all season long with the first pitch app from Minor League Baseball, you can download that on any smartphone. And right now, get out your scorecards. And here is today's starting lineups. First for the visiting Frisco Rough Riders. Leading off in center field, Gerardo De La Rosa. De La Rosa at center. Davis Thatcher will be the left fielder for Frisco. Thatcher at left. Cesar Fuentes will be the first baseman for Frisco. Fuentes at first. Rodrigo Francisco will be the third baseman. He'll bat fourth for the Frisco Rough Riders. Francisco at third. Jason Castillo will be the second baseman for Frisco. Castillo at second, Juan Cinto will be the catcher for the Rough Riders today. Centeno catching. Juan Esquivel the be the right fielder for the Rough Riders. Esquivel at right. Batting eighth in the designated hitter, Andy Blackburn. Blackburn for the Rough Riders, the DH. Batting ninth is the shortstop, Martin Dixon. He rounds out the batting order for Frisco this afternoon. Dixon at short. And on the mound for the Frisco Rough Riders, Jason Palmer. Palmer, today's Rough Riders pitcher. And now here's the starting lineup for your San Antonio Missions. Leading off in second, Mitch O'Keefe. O'Keefe at second. Center fielder, Will Raider will be batting second for San Antonio. Raider at center. Willie Venezuela will be the first baseman for Frisco. Venezuela at first. Robert Doherty will be the right fielder for San Antonio. Doherty at right. Batting fifth, the catcher, Justin Ryan. Ryan catching. Henry Cabral will be the shortstop for San Antonio. Cabral as short. Left fielder, San Antonio Missions, Alan Cordoba. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, Darryl Hightower. He'll bat eighth for San Antonio. Hightower, the DH. And batting ninth for San Antonio, third baseman, Missions. Third baseman, Brian Cablarera. Cablarera at third. And on the mound for your San Antonio Missions, Brian Mitchell. Mitchell, today's Missions pitcher. And there is your starting lineups. Time for baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Frisco Rough Riders and the San Antonio Missions. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this.
Brian Mitchell takes the mound for the home team in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Into the box now, Geraldo De La Rosa. He will lead this one off today. Center fielder, Geraldo De La Rosa. Here comes the first pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Our game time temperature smack dab on 100 degrees at first pitch. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be. Let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark. The sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day. Those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Got to find a way to scratch a few across early. Stepping into the box, Davis Thatcher. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. And that one just missed outside. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Zero. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Ready on one and two. And a good take there. Close but it's two and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Davis Thatcher goes down for out number two in the top half. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. No balls in one strike. Wind up and the 0 1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0 2 count. Ball one. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager's planting his seat in that umpire's mind. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Jason Palmer, the German-born starter, will get the assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So coming to the plate, Mitch O'Keefe. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Second baseman, Mitch O'Keefe. Here's the first pitch to him. This is in the air out to right. Esquivel sprinting after it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. 
Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Taking a look at this lineup, they're going to have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. Standing in, Will Rader, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry and foul, though it had the home run distance. The 0 1 on its way. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Batting third, third baseman, Willie. Into the box, Willie Valenzuela. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. First pitch of the at bat. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. De La Rosa moving forward and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. On to first, a double play. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rodrigo Francisco. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. In there for strike one. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. Francisco stands at second with no outs. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. And it's gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as it's now a 2-0 ball game. You can see here that he tried to stay away from him, attacking the outer half of the plate. But he reached those arms and had enough power to go oppo bomb. That's a great swing of the bat right there. Standing in now, Juan Centeno. 0 oh, 1 the count. Base is empty here with nobody out. Behind 0 oh, 2 now. Here comes another 0 2. Hot shot to third. Cabrera comes up with it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And manning the hot corner today is a guy with one of the quickest reactions in the game. That's it at third base. A step and a dive, a little bit of range, but you better be reacting, and you better be able to have some serious hands and a strong arm to get it over to first. And he checks all the boxes. Into the box now, Juan Esquivel. As the switch hitter will take his cuts yeah. left-handed here. And that's in there for a strike. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. This is driven to right. And no doubt about it, that one's way out of here.
A solo shot here to straightaway right field as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Well, that's the second home run of the inning and their lead grows bigger. It's like a runaway train on a downhill slope right now. And the other guys are trying to throw twigs in the spokes to stop it. Into the box, Andy Blackburn, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Skied into straightaway right. Doherty is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting ninth, George Brown, Martin Dixon. So striding forward now, Martin Dixon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom of the second. The Rough Riders are out in front, three to nothing. Leading off the inning, Robert Doherty, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Castillo is there. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And surprisingly today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm, but I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. Coming to the plate now, Justin Ryan. Here's the first pitch to him. Driven down the left field line, will it stay fair? It will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And he's able to get back in there at first safely. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there. But the outfielder does a really good job, Nero, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, Nero, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. Into the box now, Henry Cabral. In there, a base hit. Batting seven, left fielder, Alan Cordoba. At the plate, Alan Cordoba. First pitch coming, here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up the base, and they're loaded with one away. Boy, this looked like it could have been a quick inning and get the first out, and then boom, 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 three singles, and all of a sudden they're loaded with one out. Yeah, this is execution at its best right here. One out, he's still got double play in order. If he can make a pitch, he can get out of it. If he doesn't, crooked number goes up. Stepping in now, Daryl Hightower. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. Yeah, he squares this thing up beautifully and blasts it through the gap all the way to the wall. Then the only question that remained was whether two or three runs were going to score. They held the runner at third, but that's a timely two-run double. In now, Brian Cabrera. Liner in there for the base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 3-3 game. 
Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mitch O'Keefe. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from him up on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And they'll tag him out at the plate, and that will keep our ball game tied as the inning is over. Digging in to try it again, Geraldo De La Rosa. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Strike. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one not sure the hitter would want to hear that though into the box Davis Thatcher as he will take the fastball here no balls and a strike 0 for 1 here in the early going set to deliver the 0 and 1 swing and a line drive but this will be foul high and deep to right center Raider giving chase but he won't have a play this is down and into the gap he hit the corner and tries for third and he's in there at third with a one out triple here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall he was flying out of the box so I think he was thinking triple all the way by the time they get it back in he's safely into third Standing in now, Caesar Fuentes. Oh, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Aye. And he fires in a strike this time. Aye. No yeah, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop. -up. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit, and that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a four to three game. Hey, you tip your hat to the batter for finding a way to find some green grass out there, but man, that has to frustrate you, Dan. An executed pitch right there. It, it does. Anytime you make a good pitch, and off the bat, it certainly didn't look like it was going to fall in for a base hit. You make a good pitch, but you don't necessarily always get the kind of results you want as a pitcher. Fuentes stands at first with one out. And this ball hits the first base bag. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Quintus is on his way home. He'll score easily, and they now lead by two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Dribbles back toward the mound. And there's out number two. The catcher, number eight, 
Digging in for his second at bat. Juan Centeno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. Now a 6 3 game. Boy, you know, in today's game, Dero, pitches are being taught high velocity. Go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. He's set. Here comes the 1 1, and it's fouled away. Three runs already home here. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And this one's in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rough Riders lead it 6-3. Leading off the inning, Will Rader, and they'll need him to get something going here. Will Rader. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. He's ready, here's the 0-1. This one's down to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. I got to be honest. I'm shocked he went back to this pitch again. First one, he was on it and fouled it off. Second one, he did not miss. Ready for another chance? Willie Valenzuela. comes the first pitch grounded back up the middle a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit they've gotten their hits in deep counts they've gotten their hits in early counts this has been a real onslaught yeah you can look at it one of two ways Maddie. either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound and they are just going to ambush tactics and it seems to work for them or you can look at it the other way they're just getting lucky Into the box now, Robert Doherty. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And the runner is in from second. And he's going to get the second now with nobody out. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He did, Dero, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. Stepping in now, Justin Ryan. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. And the second runner will stop at third, and they're at the corners now with nobody out. Now that is Henry Cabral. Riding in once again, Henry Cabral, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Oh, and he sat on the curveball there, and he yanks this one out to left. This ball has plenty of carry to it, and it's going to clear the wall by plenty. A home run. Whoop, 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 whoop. So a three-run blast is straight away left, and it's now an 8-6 ball game.
you know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep, but it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. Now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. Probably wishes he could have gone a little longer, but the move's already been made, and he's off to the showers. Rodney McDonald is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Alan Cordoba hits next. Line to the right side. But foul. One for one after a single this first time up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. De La Rosa has it in his tracks. He's got it one away. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Daryl Hightower stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Chopper. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And there are two away now. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. In now, Brian Cabrera. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Line toward center field. De La Rosa is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. But not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three-run home run. We played three full. It's now eight to six. Leading off the inning, Andy Blackburn, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Now here's the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Little dribbler down the line. That's a foul ball. misses and we're even at two and two. Line drive base hit to right. No, he's in there. Not particularly graceful there and as a result he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Into the box, Martin Dixon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And it's a foul ball. Blackburn gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the air, down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one-two. Fouled off. Fouled off. 
The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That was aggressive pitching and that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The underhanded flip. Hey, hit and run right there. I know the guy had to pull up on second base because the ball didn't get to the outfield, but you know what? You'll take the knock first and second, regroup. Let's see what happens. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a knee-high fastball. And he falls behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. The 0-2 once more. Liner toward right center. Doherty is there and he'll bring this one in. Now batting. The first baseman. These are 20. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Fuentes. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Two men are on with two men out. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Sinking line drive out to right center. And that'll land between everybody. Base hit. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now an 8-7 ball game. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around the score. It, it, you know what, and that's one of those cases as a pitcher, D-Row, there's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one run on two hits, one error, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The missions lead it 8 7. So the lineup flips over and Leaving digging in. Running. Mitch O'Keefe, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear. Everybody clap your hands. Standing in now, Will Rader. Line drive to left. Thatcher is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now batter, first baseman, Willie Valenzuela. Digging in and looking for more, Willie Valenzuela. He's one for two in the ball game. First offering on its way. Grounded back up the middle. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this.
ready once again. Jason Castillo comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Jason Castillo. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. It's fair to say that early on at least, the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon. A high-scoring affair thus far, and we're only in the fifth inning. At the plate, Juan Centeno. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. It might be time for this guy to start mixing his pitches up a little bit better. He's pitching poorly, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage at over 70%. This batting, this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is. Stays alive, still 0-2. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. All right, they were number 12. Juan Digging in once again, Juan Esquivel. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. Last half of the fifth coming up. San Antonio's out in front. Eight to seven. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Robert Doherty. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's one down now. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starter's final line. Not what he had in mind before the day started. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Ryan. He singled his last time up. Now the pitch. hit hard on the ground towards second and that is through into center field for a one out single well these days don't happen often you better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go it's hard to have three hits in one day but boy this guy is off to a great start in this into the box Henry Cabral as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. One there, on to first, and they turn another one. Their fourth of the afternoon, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Stepping in, Andy Blackburn. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Blackburn. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Outside. And that one just missed outside. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Missed with a breaking ball. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. He's set, and the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Blackburn on at first, nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two.
on its way the 0 2 pitch fly ball out toward left center field. Cordova arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting center fielder Geraldo De La Rosa. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Geraldo De La Rosa. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. In for a strike, it's one and one. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter, and he's in the second safely with a stolen base. The two one it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to third. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. And he's safe. Stepping up now, Davis Thatcher, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ball one. Runners are at first and second with one away. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Cordova ranging back to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Blackburn isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He scores. It's now 8-8. Eight, eight. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three-run homer written all oh, over it, but it bounces Great, off you. the wall, so Three only runs. one run scores. One and now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. Into the box now, Cesar Fuentes, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And through five and a third, already coming up on 100 pitches here. Yeah, Matty V, this pitch count continues to go up, up, up. Near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning. And Mark DeRosa, this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of stress. And not in time as the run scores. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Rodrigo Francisco. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on a defensive side and multiple ways you can go fastball up you can go breaking ball down one of the keys getting ahead and he's done a very good job of that so far got him swinging on the fastball there Rodrigo Francisco sent packing for out number two in the sixth Jason Castillo will dig in again and as he does we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on looking to keep this a one run game the pitch a ball and no strikes. Two and oh now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two and one now. He's set and the two one pitch. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. The 3 2 pitch. Full count still. The next 3 2. Count remains full. one more time line drive to center field Raider is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side 
So two runs on just one lone hit. No errors. And two left. Bottom part of the order. Seven, eight, and nine. Due up in the home half. The Rough Riders are out in front. Nine, eight. Now in the box, Alan Cordoba. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out to right field. Esquivel moves over. One out. Next will be the designated hitter, Daryl Hightower. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground at third. And he whips on it as this falls right under his glove. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game. He had to know that pitch was coming. In now, Brian Cabrera pulled high in the air out to left field. Thatcher is after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, second baseman, Mitch O'Keefe. Settling in now, Mitch O'Keefe. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. And a gorgeous flip to second. And with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors. And one man left aboard. Seventh inning coming up. The Rough Riders lead it 9-8. to eight. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. It's been a high-scoring affair thus far as we take a look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Ready once again. Juan Centeno has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Hit in the air out to right. Oh, and he misses it! So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Ready for another chance? Juan Esquivel. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Centeno aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Digging in to try it again. Andy Blackburn. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound and a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So we'll leave after six rather nondescript innings of work as he stands to be the loser in this one. Luis Vila comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lays off 1-0. Oh, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. Now a ball hit hard toward first, and this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely to third as two runs come across to score away from the play. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. A ball and two strikes. Runner at third here, nobody out. 
Yeah. Swung on, but it's pulled yeah. foul wide of third. Got to believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's going to have nightmares at the plate thinking about Whoa, missing that one. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The bouncer to the left side. To his right, Cabral. And not in time as the run scores. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Geraldo De La Rosa. He's one for four for the game. That tails. Line to the right side. And that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How about it? Digging in and looking for more, Davis Thatcher. He's tripled and doubled in four trips in the ballgame. And that misses low and away. You find out a lot about a pitcher's moxie. No one warming up in the pen. He's in trouble right now. He knows it. Can he right the ship and stay composed? And that's going to fall for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Well, with that base hit, d -Row, he's three-quarters of the way to the cycle. The only one he needs now is the home run, and he should get another A-B in this one. Yeah, 100%, Dan. People are like to downplay the cycle a little bit. I I'm a huge fan of it myself. If he can mix in this homer right here, not only hits for the cycle, but four knocks in the game. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. The second for one, but they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. Third baseman, number six. Rodrigo. Ready for another shot now, Rodrigo Francisco. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Strike one to start the at-bat. The 0-1 delivery. Sharp ground ball to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Rough Riders are out in front. 13 to eight. Digging in the switch hitter, Will Rader. He'll try and do what he can to work for cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff hitter reaches base safely, and now it's the run-producing part of the order with nobody out. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D-Row. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter given that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out of the and that will get down out there. Pro comes in quickly here, and that will prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Oh, and he missed with a breaking ball oh, up there. And that's a get mistake out of here. he get won't out of here. get away with. Santa
to say if you play with fire, you're going to get burned, that's exactly what happened. He looked spent, but the manager gave him a chance to work out of a bases loaded jam. Guess what? It didn't work, and those runs are going to burn for a while. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Frisco, number 14, Damon O'Brien. Stepping in now, Henry Cabral. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. Alan Cordoba hits next as he'll swing and hit this one hard but foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. Takes this the other way to right. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Boy, d when you're starting to swing it like this team is, doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitch, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing small. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over. De La Rosa sprinting after it. Catch is made, and the tying run is going to tag from second. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Brian Cabrera as he'll go to work on trying to bring home the tying run from third towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now that second baseman is okay. So a big moment here in standing in Mitch O'Keefe as he'll do his best to bring home the go ahead run from third 90 feet away. There's a swing and a line drive. That'll get the tying run home and possibly more than that. Go ahead run heading for the plate. And a relay to the plate. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied at 13. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Castillo. First offering on its way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Getting late in the day here, and as this has been a long one, we check out our line score to this point. The scoreboard operator is going to sleep well tonight because, as you can see, he's been a pretty busy man through the first seven and change. Striding in once again, Juan Centeno. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. behind 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 
the next 0 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Porta was under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Juan Esquivel. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Raider is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Frisco, number 52. Will Raider will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Will Raider. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Raider in there for a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. Into the box, Willie Valenzuela. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in, Robert Doherty. He's two for four in the ballgame. He's set. Here it comes. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. You can tell his eyes lit up at the plate right there. He was not able to control his emotions, stay up the middle, and keep that one fair. From the belt, the pitch. A bullet to first base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Now batting. Catch it. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Justin Ryan. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Beautiful part about that home run ball is one swing. It can do a lot of damage. We're tied right now, and you can look back to that previous. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So a good bounce-back inning here after the five-run outburst last time around. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied at 13s. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Andy Blackburn. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Blackburn. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Wind up and the 0 1. Hit in the air to center field. Raider is there. Two gone. Digging in once again. Geraldo De La Rosa. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now, now at the plate, Davis Thatcher. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. A ball and no strikes. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. The 
the 1-0. A high fastball is in there. The one and one pitch. There's a strike. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. And he's in safely at third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You just get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with thighs in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Cesar Fuentes is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Skied into straightaway right. Doherty moves over, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. The Rough Riders lead it 14-13. Gino Bagley is the man now called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Henry Cabral. And they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch of the at-bat. Line drive to left. Thatcher is there, and that won't help the cause. It's a quick out here to start the home ninth. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air. Get out of here. Deep. Get out of here. And folks, oh my this game is... an impressive power display today with that one these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game yeah Matty B you know what Devo there's an old saying when the temperatures start to heat up so did the bats and that's what we saw in this one yeah Dan without question when the weather heats up there's nothing better than putting on even. now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it back to back jacks and the missions win it Oh my goodness, Santa Maria! Well, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. Wow. A home run that wins the ball game. The missions win it. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered with runners in scoring position a couple of times in this one. Finished with five RBIs, and that was obviously a huge factor in them claiming the victory here.
15 to 14, the final score in this one. The San Antonio Missions came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Luis Vila is credited with the win. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. And so the San Antonio Missions take game one of this four-game series with the visiting Frisco Rough Riders. As the Missions was putting up a well-deserved fist fight against the Rough Rider lineup. Well, later on is game two of this four-game set between the visiting Frisco Rough Riders. Uh, this four game set the missions will play again tomorrow night for game three and on Friday afternoon the missions will round out the series the Midland Rockhounds will come in for a four game set after that it'll be our eight away game set San Antonio at Frisco and after that San Antonio at Midland well before we go let's go over runs hits and errors first for the visiting Frisco Rough Riders 14 runs on 15 hits no errors for the San Antonio missions 15 runs on 24 hits and two errors well, we thank you guys for tuning in. Also, huge shout out to Safe Lock Freakies for being a part of the stream. And we will have Battlefront 2 coming in in just a little bit. Well, our final score is the San Antonio Missions 15 and the Frisco Rough Riders 14.